Hey, what's up guys? Uh, tonight I'm going to put a, an alternator in this 2006 Scion TC and uh, of course I'm going to shoot video of it and uh, show you how I go about uh, doing it and, uh, and hopefully it'll help somebody that needs to tackle a project like this. And the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, disconnect the uh, negative uh, side of the cable going to the battery. And this is a 10 millimeter socket that you have to use. Now that we've done that, now we can uh, move on to the next step. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is I've got to get this belt off of the uh, alternator and to do that there's a uh, tensioner and uh, there's a, uh, a bolt down there that's got a uh, that you have to use a 19 millimeter socket on uh, to loosen the tension so you can get this belt off and I'm gonna try and stick a small camera down there so I can get get this shot of that Uh, like I said, it takes a 19 millimeter uh, socket uh, to go on that to uh, pull back on that and uh, loosen the tension on that belt. Now I'm going to put the uh, socket down uh, on that tensioner bolt using the uh, a ratchet and a 19 millimeter socket. And, uh, Get that set up. Got the ratchet on there now, and now I'm going to take a uh, cheater pipe, put it on the end of the uh, ratchet to give me leverage to pull down on that tensioner bolt. And now I'm removing the belt. belt off now, off of the alternator, let up on the uh, tensioner slowly. Get my ratchet out of there. Then I'm going to kind of tuck that belt up uh, out of my way, uh, making sure that it doesn't come off any of the other pulleys. Now we, uh, the next step after you've uh, got the belt off of the alternator is uh, you got to undo these uh, connections right here first thing we'll do is uh, undo the electrical connection and just simply unplug it like that and this one right here takes a uh, 10 millimeter socket Here takes a 10 millimeter socket. Get this bracket out of the way. Put that back in the alternator. That just so I don't lose it for now. Okay, now that we got the electrical connections uh, undone, um, I'm going to start trying to get the uh, bolts off that hold the alternator in there. Um, there's a uh, bolt right here 
and uh, there's a bolt that's hidden from view down underneath here. This part of the alternator back down in here. This one's going to be kind of hard to get to. But this one takes a 14 millimeter uh, socket. So I'm going to start trying to turn that thing off. We'll see how tight it is. Tight. So I'm going to have to put my cheater bar on there. Don't tell my shop teacher, my high school top shop teacher, I'm doing this. There we go. Man. Tight. it out of there. Now for the next one. I'll try and give you a shot of <clears throat> what I'm dealing with. There is a uh, a bolt underneath the alternator that is very difficult to get to. I've been working on it for maybe 45 minutes now and I finally got a ratchet on it see the ratchet right there it's shining my light on it up underneath there and, uh, and I've got it loosened up now and uh, I'm going to continue to loosen it and get that get that bolt out of there and uh, hopefully I can get that alternator out but uh, it is not easy to get to Finally got it out of there. That thing was a pain in the rear end to get out of there. Of course, I stick it up right underneath the alternator. What a pain. Okay, I want to see if I can get the alternator out of there. A retaining bracket right here that holds this wire right here onto the alternator right there found a rich wrench that fits it and it's a number eight so once I get that out of there it should uh, I should be able to get that alternator out of there thing with a pain. This one right here is the one that's really hard to get to. Very hard. Now I've got the underneath the uh, bolt started a hard one to get to now I'm going to put the socket on and tighten it up okay I got that bottom bolt uh, tightened up the hardest one so now I can tighten up that top one Bolts tightened up.
Well, I think got the belt on there. All they're left to do now is start it up and uh, make my connection on my battery and uh, start it up. Yeah, it's working. Charging the battery. Okay. Job complete.